Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will be doing a review of the Hippie Crafter heat gun, and I'm also going to be making a large foam flower using it. I'm not being paid for this review. Hippie Crafter reached out to me and asked if I would like to do a review of one of their products. So first off, the packaging is super fun. I love it. This is a dual temp heat gun. Here on the back, it shows some of the products that they carry. If you're interested in the heat gun or want to go check out some of the other products that they have, their website is hippiecrafter.com. I will have a link in my description box so you can go over there and check out their website. First, I'm noticing how lightweight it is. It does have a kickstand, so you can set it up so it doesn't roll around. Here is the on and off switch with the single line for the low temp and the double line for the high temp. And the cord is fairly short. It is only a little over three feet. Okay, so I've got the heat gun plugged in. Now my first kind of, I don't know if I wanna say it's a complaint or I, I just wish that the cord was a little bit longer. So the cord on this is only, um, I believe it says here, like right now it is plugged in and I cannot reach it all the way up to my camera. So um, it says that the cord is 3.2 feet long. So I do wish that the cord was a little bit longer um, so I wouldn't have to use an extension cord. And um, where I have it now, it doesn't really... Um, I don't know it's it's just not long enough I do wish the cord was a little bit longer um, so I will turn this on and so we can see how loud it is so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on to the first setting which is the low setting if you guys can hear that it's not too too loud so there's that and now we'll do the high setting so it is a little bit louder. Um, I think the motor is blowing a little bit harder. Um, so it's not it's not too bad as far as noise goes. Um, also, I wanted to point out that on the box it does say that it's a dual temp, 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. But Whenever I looked through the um, safety instructions and then the directions, on here it does say on uh, the third one, um, it does say that the heat level with the one mark is low and the temperature is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The um, high mark or the two with the two marks, it, the two lines, it says that it that is high and that the temperature is 392 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, that's a little bit different than what the box says. So the box says 100 degrees Fahrenheit and then 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm not really sure what the temperature is gonna get up to. Um, I don't know if that really matters to, you know, on most projects. All I know is that you do want your heat gun if you're heating something up to get warm enough that you know, it, you can work with it, do whatever you need to do with it. But anyway, so far, that is the only thing that I'm noticing. Um, you know, so I don't really want to say it's a complaint because it's not a complaint. Um, I'm just, I do wish that the cord was a little bit longer, maybe by a couple more feet. Maybe if it was a, a five foot cord or a six foot cord, um, that would be, uh, you know, a little nicer. But other than that, so far, I am liking this heat gun um it does heat up like it says it's going to um the it's not too noisy so i do like it um so i'm going to go ahead and move on to our foam flower diy to make the flower i'm using four sheets of this 12 by 18 inch foam it's two millimeters thick and i purchased this foam from hobby lobby it's regular 99 cents and i got it for 50 percent off for the petals, I use a template that I found on sweetredpoppy.com, and I just used the large, medium, and small petals. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to start off doing after I have my petals all cut, I'm going to start shaping my petals using my heat gun. And also to help shape the petals, I'm going to be using this. Uh, this is just a 
globe, uh, like a light fixture. It goes over a light fixture. Um, you can use one of these if you have it, or um, a round ball, or maybe a styrofoam ball, anything that is round. Um, so I'm going to be using that to help give my petals a shape. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take um, one of my petals. I'm going to take my heat gun. Now this heat gun does have two settings, so it is dual temp. And I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the first, which is the low temp. And I'm just going to start heating up my foam just until it gets kind of soft and uh, pliable. I don't want it too hot because I don't want to melt it completely. I just want it um, to heat up enough to where I can form it. Okay, so I was using my heat gun on the low setting and it's really not warm enough to heat up my foam here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the highest setting and um, try and get it heated that way. So now that I have it heated, I'm just going to place it on my ball here and I'm just going to try and um, kind of smooth that out around my globe. I just want to smooth it around until it starts to uh, cool down. Now once it starts cooling down, I'm going to go ahead and heat it up some more because it's not um, exactly the concave or concave shape that I want. So I'm just going to continue heating it. Okay, so my petal is starting to curve up a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this to all of my petals. And then as soon as I get done getting them all shaped the way I want, I will come back and I'll show you how to put them together. Also, as I'm heating these up, I'm going to be kind of running my fingers down through, um, kind of trying to shape it some, as I'm also using my uh, globe here to form the shape of the petal also. I just kind of want to get it as curved up as I can get it, um, you know, to make it look more... As, as much like a petal as I can get it. Now I have all the petals shaped the way that I want them. On the large and medium petals, I formed the edges to curl in a bit. To start making the center of the flower, I'm taking four of the small petals, gluing two of them horizontally, and then adding the other two vertically on top of the first bottom two. This forms a T-shape. Okay, next we are going to take the two petals that are on top. So if you can see where I've glued these two petals here on top, we're going to take those first and you're just going to bend them, bend one up to the middle. You're going to take the other one and you're going to bend it up to the middle. And we're just going to kind of make these two petals hug each other. So you're going to take one and kind of Put one of the petals inside and then to where it wraps around the other. So I hope that makes sense. Um, now this depends on how open you want the middle of your flower to be or if you want it more closed. Um, you just have to try to squeeze these in a little closer to each other. Um, it's just up to you however you want your flower to go. Like I'm going to and a move a maneuver that foam around inside there to kind of make it lap around a little bit more. So anyway, once you get it to where the center of it is how you want it, so it's like this, you're going to take your hot glue and over on this side, I'm just going to add just one little doll up there and then press that in. And then the same thing over on this side. I'm just going to add a little dollop of hot glue and just press that in there. So now your center looks like this so far. Next you're going to take the other two petals and you're just going to bring them up one at a time. So I'm going to bring this up to meet. 
So I want to get it. Now this is also depending on how close you want this. If you want it closed up a lot, like this, or if you want it to be a little bit more open, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. So once you get your petal to where you want it, you're just going to add some hot glue. Same thing on this side. So there is the other petal. And then you're just going to take the remaining petal and do the same thing. Just fold it up, fold it, wrap it around where you want it, and then just hot glue those petals together. Okay, so here is the center of your flower, what the center of your flower is going to look like. And the bottom of it will be flat. Now I'm going to start making the bottom part of the flower. I'm using the four large petals, and where the bottom tabs are, I'm going to cut a slit going about an inch in. Where the petals curl in is the back of the petal. On the front of the petal is where I'm going to take the slit that I cut and crossing one over the other, add hot glue to secure. This helps the petals to stand up a bit. I will do the same thing to the medium sized petals. Okay, so I'm getting ready to assemble the flower. So to assemble the flower, I'm starting off with a base. And for our base, I am just using a piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree that I cut a two inch round circle out of. And then I covered it with some white felt because I didn't have any pink. And then on the back side of it, I covered this with some of that pink foam that we were using. So um, that's all I did for this part. So this is going to be where we're gonna start assembling our petals. So we're gonna start off with the large petals first. And since I have <clears throat> four petals here, um, I'm just going to start hot gluing them on. And where I want them to go is where it starts to kind of bend, um, where this little flap is that we had, where it starts to bend. That's where I'm going to line that up with my um, base, with the circle here. So your petal should come to about where that bend or that curve starts will line up with the um, circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll glue the first one down. I'm just gonna add some glue on the back of the petal here. Just place that there on the back of that circle. Here's the back side. I may have to bring some uh, hot glue up to around here so that it does kind of connect it. I just don't want my hot glue to ooze out. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold that there and let the hot glue set up. Okay, so now I'm going to attach the next petal. And I'm going just to go across from where I placed my first petal and add the second petal. So now I'm gonna go in with the third petal and just do the same exact thing. I'm going in with the fourth petal and doing the same thing. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far with the four petals. That is our first layer. So next we're going to move on to the second layer. Okay, now I'm going in with the second layer and I'm taking four of our medium sized petals and I will be hot gluing these in similar to what we did with the first layer. But with this second layer, I'm going to place my petals in between where these two petals meet to kind of cover up the, um, the space that's in between there. So I will just be placing it right, right there in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hot glue 
there's the first one. Second one, same thing. Same thing with the third one. And then the fourth one. So there is the second layer. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding the third layer, which is our remaining four medium-sized petals. And I will be doing the same thing where I am placing these in between where we put the last layer of petals. So there's what it's looking like so far with three layers. Okay, so now we're coming down to our last four small petals. And I'm just going to be doing the same exact thing as I did with the other the other petals that I put down. But instead, this time, instead of having the petals where they are turned over, I am going to, where this curls over this way, that's how I laid these. This time I'm going to flip it over so that the curved part is facing up. So... I'm just going to do the same thing where I add the hot glue and I'm going to be placing these right in between the last petals that I put down. So there is where we're at so far. Okay, so for the last part, I'm going to be adding our center. So I'm just going to place this where I feel like I want it to go. And I think I'm going to want it kind of right here facing this way. So I want to go ahead and add my hot glue to the bottom. And just place it down there in the center. I forgot to add a hanger to the back. So before you add the foam piece to the base of the flower, you will want to add a hanger first by sandwiching it in between the cardboard and the piece of foam. Since I forgot, I'm just going to add a piece of yarn to the back with hot glue, then place a piece of the leftover foam to cover the end of the yarn. For my final review of the Hippie Crafter heat gun, the pros are that it's lightweight, it's quiet, I like that it has dual temperature, and it is reasonably priced. The cons are that the cord is a little too short, and although I like the kickstand at the top, I also wish that it had one at the bottom for easier hands for use. All in all, I really like it. Thanks to Hippie Crafter for sending this to me to review. I will leave the link to their website in my description box if you would like to order your own heat gun, or if you want to check out some of the other products that they have. So here's how the flower turned out. I think it's really pretty, but I also think it could have used a few more petals. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!